we're back at Jim's shop and we're doing some more work on the Mario Kart car. Big thing is I'm installing this killer glass radiator hose. Made completely out of glass. Killer Glass is the company. It has my old car club um, name on it, Psychotics. It was a group of uh, Scion car club people across the nation. I'm no longer around, but it's in like that Nintendo font, so it's kind of cool. So we're going to be putting it on the car, so we got to take apart the, uh, the air filter and get in there. Full delete of the uh, air, air box, maybe we don't need it. <laughs> always get something fancy like a K&N or something. Right, I did have, um, I might still have it. I, From the honest, Yeah, I still have it at the other one where it's just a short ram with a big filter. Oh. That we could end up installing. Sure. I don't know if I need the uh, big filter on there. Probably not much power gain on it, it's more for looks and make it look fast. It's all go. It's all show, no go. <laughs> oh yeah, the, for, the, and, uh, and the, for the filter that and, was gone. And this was the thing that was bad originally that uh, was causing the, uh, the, the fuse to uh, keep blowing. Right, so, so all that gave me issues for two and a half months. It was like a $15 part, so awesome that we figured it out. Unboxing. There we go. Ooh. Another sticker. Two. <laughs> two stickers for each side. Glow ship, check them out. There we go. So now my actual uh, water pressure will work. The gauge, this is gonna go. Water temperature. Or water temperature, yeah, and the hose in there. Oh, that's just, it's just paperwork, yeah. perfect. Okay. So we're hoping, we're hoping we can maybe hide this down and back because we got the glass radiator hose is gonna be going there. So we'll see, we'll see how far we have to get this off. And then we'll see. There we go, draining out the fluids. Peeing? And yeah, it's like red-ish color, so. I'm going to keep an eye out the level so we can get it. Probably try to get it below the bottom connection. Okay. There we go, we got that one off. See so yeah, how this takes up a lot of real estate in there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because here's the hose. The hose is off, and it, it goes almost as far as like there's where the bend is. So, in other words, we need this distance for the nipple there. Nipples. Right. And then that's got to go so that it it leaves some room to put the shrink tube on there. Right, this in and then the shrink tubing right. over it. If that one fits. You know, yeah, this, that one, one, this fits one glides right on. So maybe something happened with that one. Like it shrunk? Right, I don't know, like it did the heat shrinking already. Okay, well, you know what we could do? We could put a hose clamp on this end because that'd probably be hidden in there. Right, right. So, so right. essentially that's how it would work. You would put right. the heat shrink over this part right. there. And then this will just go on there and clamp it down, clamp yeah. down on it. So, so that's gonna go kind of like that. There we go, using some tape to know where we got to cut. And remember, if you have a truck, the, uh, the truck bed is a great bench. <laughs> okay, that's going on there. Okay. This will have to turn so that, you want the word on the top? Yeah, we can rotate it yeah, where we, we can. Yeah, we can rotate it. Yeah. But that's what, this is what I'm saying in that order. And then we, so we took this off, it was attached over here, now we're gonna be able to move it a little bit. Yeah. Get some play on it. So this was kind of like this. Yeah. Kind of like that, and then this. Rotate a little bit like that. We got about six hose clamps on there and it's uh, put together pretty nice. The only thing that held this up was adding the um, little sensor for my water gauge. If you were just doing the um, radiator hose, obviously you wouldn't run into those issues, but we wanted to add that gauge in there, so this is what it looks like. And then there's the killer glass radiator hose. It's gonna look awesome once we light it up with the fluid and we gotta add, we got a little LED from Osmium 
right there. Supposed to shake it up. <laughs> shake it up. What did you buy? Did you buy the 50-50? Yeah, 50-50. Pre-diluted. Oh, it is it's pinkish. It's yeah. like a pink. Do a little test. Do a test. Yeah, plus the coolant when it's flowing through there. Right. Okay, I'm swinging my mom's real quick so I can grab my cold air intake so we can put that in. I had it on the old Scion, but never put it onto this one. But if we got the uh, custom radiator hose, might as well add this too. Could obviously use a new filter, but... And we got, look, a little guy, uh, spider right there. All right, we gotta relocate you, buddy. Let's go. All right, we're back at Jim's garage and I got my intake. This is the Bliss Blitz intake, cold air intake. I doubt it's gonna give me any performance, but it's gonna look cool, because this car is definitely all show, a no-go, so. Uh, 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 <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> Looking cool equals performance. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get this installed and we'll see how it looks. Eric, get that piece of crap out of there. Um, okay, let's see this stuff. I'm assuming it does. Because this goes on this way? Yeah, and then that just sits in this and area. that plug will go into here. Yeah, this will okay. plug in right there. Okay. We were having issues, it was like rubbing up against this area. That's why on the filter. You okay. can kind of yeah, see. Kind of big and round. A little bit right there. Yeah. Did this hose just kind of like stick in this hole? Yeah, is that, as far is that as I know. Kind of what you did. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if there's a better, it's, it's better only, way, but it's only like a, a PCV. It's a crankcase ventilation. Yeah, it sticks right in there. So. Put put a yeah. different one on there. Yeah, we'll put the worm clamp on that was on that's on the other one. Maybe I could get a nice uh, red filter so or something. A, Oh, in the yeah, future something with color that uh, you know it shows pops. up better yeah it'll match the uh, the heartbeat over here <laughs> the heart of the car oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. picked up the filter from mom's we had a uh, a little spider in it and it looks like he uh he came oh, over he right here off. yeah he's he's right here on the oh, uh, there he is on the battery so hey, ch I'll chase him over to your way <laughs> here get out of there there he, he is. is. So he's, he's living here now. <laughs> He'll keep the other insects out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. What's that one? There? Two and a half or three inch cold air. Oh, there we go. That one, that one looks a little narrower. Yeah. That might work. Oh, yeah. What's the, what's the uh, does it say what the uh, uh, six diameter inch? is? I think that's bigger than six inch. Foreshadowing. All right, looking sturdy. Okay, zip tied it there so it won't bounce around. So it keeps it away from that uh, the terminal. positive battery cable. Yeah. And then let me. We're gonna run to my house and we're gonna get a hose that goes. So we'll take that one the same diameter, runs all the way from over here into here. Nice. Because it doesn't matter how long that hose is, it's just sucking. It's just sucking. No, it's not, actually, it's not. Actually, <laughs> when you get blow by inside the engine, yeah, you know, compression by the piston rings, the crankcase creates pressure. So this relieves the pressure, but because of pollution, this is like a PCV valve. It puts it back into the airstream and ingests it into the engine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, we grabbed a few hoses, see which one fits, and we'll be good. There's the stock one. <coughs> we'll grab this one here. And that one's a pretty good flexible one. Yeah, we can cut that right there. Use this. Uh, 
<laughs> now that's a knife. <laughs> That'll keep that from bouncing around. Bouncing yeah. Around. The next day. All right, looks like we're gonna have to order another one. <laughs> Three days later. Okay, we just got a package. The old air filter did not fit. I guess that was on my fault, not measuring how wide the opening needed to be. So we put a poll on the community page on my YouTube page. If you guys haven't checked the community page, I often put behind the scene pictures and polls. So we voted, should we get a red filter or a blue? Bum, 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 bum. There it is. We picked up the red one. So this guy is definitely wide enough to fit on there. Nice and shiny and new. And it should go well with the Mario Kart car. So quick install. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. And it definitely had some damage from back in the day. And it's dirty. So out with the old. Here's the new guy. Same style clamp. Fits good in there, look at that. The red does set it off nice against the other accents of the car. But, you know, good clearance here. It's nowhere near the battery right there. So again, it's all show, no go on this one. Made to look fast, look pretty, all aesthetics. I don't drive it fast. <laughs> here we go. couple weeks since I installed the killer glass radiator hose and it's holding up pretty good check it out here it is right there looking nice and pink and you know even in the daylight but it shines really awesome at nighttime we got the new filter in here installed so it goes well with the look of the car and overall pretty happy with the install of how it went in it was cool to have it back in the day and I'm happy that I took it out of the first Mario Kart car that I had and got to put it in this one. So it lives on. If you guys haven't checked out Killer Glass, be sure to check them out. They don't make them for all makes and models of cars, but perhaps yours. All right, so that was the install of the Killer Glass radiator hose i think it's an awesome feature and now at car shows when i got the hood pop like that it just adds that much more character to that and certainly starts some conversations certainly it was good to get back working on the mario Kart car and kind of bouncing between this car and the subaru as well so the next video i have coming out car related is going to be on the subaru um, i ordered a rear diffuser for that car so let me know what other maybe mods you want to see done on this car or the Subaru. All right, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, consider doing so. I put out videos as much as I can, and we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so you can help me get there. As always, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.